Another B model, guys. The operator complaint is lazy steering. Uh, this is the HMU, which is the hand metering unit. These are all your hydraulic hoses, uh, hard lines. It's a fully hydraulic steering system. So these do go bad quite frequently. I did drive the truck. It is, I guess, just a hair on the lazy side. Uh, so we're gonna change that out and then we'll take it for another test drive, verify the repair. These are all seven eighths. 15 sixteenths. So we got this one here. So we'll get all these cracked loose. A lot of times these ones people get them way too tight, so when you go to take it loose, the entire fitting down there in the HMU wants to spin. Um, but we'll see if that's the case. That one was good, actually. I think it's just this one. Yeah, you guys can see the whole line is flexing on this one. Yep, I can see the fitting. So, anyway, I'll continue yarding this apart. We'll bring you guys back. Let you see what we got going on. These little service wrenches come in handy. Where are you guys looking at? Yeah, this one's a 15 16 But the real short, it's only like a six inch wrench. But it's real nice for like these tight areas right here. So we didn't bother to drain steering or anything. It's not gonna spray all out. It will kind of ooze and leak oil though. No biggie. So we'll get all these off. We got these four here on top. One, two, this one's number three, number four. You got one over here off to the side, tucked down in there. So these HMUs, they don't fail all that frequently. They do fail uh, enough, I guess, to be on your radar. But mostly it'll be these hard lines will crack. It's just vibration. But something else, just put a zip tie on some of these. Uh, so when you crack the nut loose, you don't want it to go all the way clear down way up under the cab so you just put that little zip tie on there keep that nut from falling getting way down in there then you got to chase it around on the other end of the hard line work it all the way back up get all our lines loose we're going to reseal all these fittings we'll have to clock all these on the new one and then uh, we'll reseal them you guys see this one yeah you can't see it there's o-rings on the each side of them these ones are o-ring face that's an o-ring face and then on the other end i believe it's in a uh, straight thread o-ring or like a o-ring boss kind of this level on the sides here forgot about that one it's a 13 16 pretty tight quarters too to get in there new one old one we're gonna reseal it swap all these fittings over this is what I was talking about this one's got the o-ring boss on one end of the fitting the other end is o-ring face so we're gonna replace both o-rings on each fitting all the way around one other thing so you can see the way these fittings are oriented and that one on the side there. So I just take them over to my new one. I put a few little marks just to get me real close. We can fine tune it up there. But we want to get it close down here on the bench. All right, use a seal pick, take them O-rings out, put a new one in. These ones are generally pretty easy. Just push right in there and they'll stay. Uh, the size of these O-rings goes off the size of the hose or the hard line. And these ones that I'm using are for a dash 8 hose. The ones that get crazy though is when it's uh, the dash 12 and dash 14 hose because it's the same O-ring for both. 
So for the dash 14, it fits just like that. It stays nice and good, but for the dash 12, you have to kind of smash it in there. It wants to pop out a lot. So for those, I'll generally put some sort of lube, like maybe some 111, just to help hold it in there. But it's not necessary on these. These fittings are also a jam nut style design, so you're gonna clock it how you want. And then you'll use this to smash that O-ring down and that's what's gonna create your seal there. Also something else, you can see the three different colors here, white, light yellow, dark yellow. That's for your straight thread O-ring, O-ring face, and uh, this will be a flange seal. So that's something else, you know, just for checking it out when you're looking at these kit, you get confused. So these O-rings, these are the O-ring face. On this back side here, it's going to be the straight thread O-ring. Something else I forgot to mention. These straight thread O-ring, like this style right here. It's, uh, the O-ring's real tight going over the threads. So you have to kind of smash it on there and then the, it, the, it just rolls all the way down. But when you get to the end of it there, it's a good habit to get into using your seal pick. To where you can get like this without stabbing the o-ring uh, and just run that around a few times and what that's going to do is it's going to untwist because so if this o-ring when it's on there it'll have a small twist in it and then when you go to thread this in it hits that twist it'll cut it right there so it's good to have it get in there get behind it with your seal pick and you can make a few hot laps around it that'll that'll relieve any bind or any twisting on that o-ring Got our new HMU mounted. Uh, we have our fittings here loose so that we can, get where you guys can see it, but so we can still spin them. Uh, everything is snug. We'll get our hard lines and stuff all hooked up and then we'll button these down. So, the first one we're going to do is this one way down in here. You guys can see it right down in there. So we'll get that one squared away. That's gonna be the most difficult one. And then we'll get the rest of them knocked out. All right, we're making some progress. We got our hose there on the side, the hard line. The two bottom ones, everything there's all buttoned up. Take out this cap here. Caterpillar calls this a pump. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know if I told you guys earlier, it's a HMU, hand metering unit. This is for the steering. The steering wheel connects directly to this. Um, but Caterpillar calls it a pump. It's more like a valve, really. Alright, closing thoughts on that B model. Uh, we just fixed it. Uh, we replaced the HMU. Um, operator complaint was steering was a little lazy. Maybe a little unresponsive. I drove it uh, before we did any repairs just to verify the fault. I didn't really have any problem at all with the steering. Put a new HMU on it. Just took it for a test drive. No leaks. No real difference uh, in steering. But anyway, there you have it. Closing thoughts.